Did you think you mattered, Hawk? Did you think anything you ever did mattered? You couldn't even save your city. How could you expect to strike down a god? Anders is going to die, just like your family and everyone you ever can. Those were little things, tiny manifestations spawned from the nightmare itself. And, of course, they look like giant spiders. Spiders? I see maggots crawling in filth. Remember, we walk in the Fade. Demons of fear shape their appearance to unnerve each of us. Well, that's reassuring. The nightmare is closer now. It knows you seek escape. With each moment, it grows stronger. We only have a short time. Ask what you must. You must know what really happened at the Temple of Sacred Ashes. As must you. The answer lies in your memories. Lost to the nightmare when you last walked the Fade. Or you could just tell me. Would you trust my words? Trust what you have seen. What can you tell me about this mark on my hand? You already know how the mark came to be upon your hand. As for what it is, it is the needle that pulls the thread, as well as the key. I don't understand. It is the needle that passes through the veil, as little else can. You are the thread, and it is the key that locks or unlocks a door to the Fade. It lets you walk in the Fade physically, and survive. Without it, Corypheus must find another way to the Black City. It is part of you now, and cannot be removed without your death. So... all of this is just a dream? Part of the Fade? It is not just a dream. The minds of mankind are made real here. Their hopes, their loves, and their fears. What changes their world also changes this one. And yours are footsteps that move mountains in both. Tread carefully, Inquisitor. This ground is more treacherous than you know. So, can you tell me who... what you are? I told you. I am helping you. Yes, but are you her, or some kind of... fade remnant of her? Or a spirit imitating her? Our world is never that simple. What if the answer is none of those things? Or all of them? I am what the Maker made me. The question is, are you what the Maker made you, Inquisitor? I don't see a Maker anywhere, do you? In fact, I see him all around us. But is he real? Is his will made manifest? Of this, none can be certain. Odd thing for the Divine to say. If we have no doubt, our faith has no value. You still haven't answered my question. What are you? I am what you see. All other answers rest in you. I'd like to know more about the nightmare. It is not simply fear. It is the terror you cannot remember, the horror your mind erases to protect you. When old memories no longer make the veteran soldiers hand tremble, it is because the nightmare has taken them. Most people avoid their fears. It is simple for the demon to steal the darkest fragments. They forget, and it feeds. Corypheus has helped it grow monstrous. It makes people forget the worst parts of their fears. It almost sounds like the nightmare is helping people. Perhaps it was. But now, it helps none but Corypheus. By his hand, it creates more fear and grows even stronger. In any case, robbing people of their fears is never a kindness. At best, it is a mistake born of compassion. Without fear and pain and failure, we cannot learn. We cannot grow. 
As you cannot grow until you recover all that was taken from you. Tell me why you're here. Why take part in this? After heaven, I hid here. I watched quietly, learned what I could, and searched for some way to help. And then you came. I don't know what that means. Corypheus and the nightmare do an injustice to the world. You must stop them. Perhaps you were meant to stop them. Perhaps that is why I am here. We should keep moving. Go! This is the breach back in Haven. That's how we... how I escaped. The demon! Keep running! you they thought it was Andraste sending me from the fade but it was the divine behind me and then you she died yes so this can't be the Divine. You don't say. I am sorry if I disappoint you. The only thing that's important right now is getting out of the Fade. Whatever you are, you've helped us so far. What we do know is that the mortal divine perished at the temple, thanks to the Grey Wardens. What, again? It wasn't their fault! We can debate the depressing details when we get back to Adamant. Assuming that the Wardens and their demon army didn't destroy the Inquisition while we were gone. So what do you, what do you say? Terrible actions are only justified when they're your terrible actions? You tore Kirkwall apart and started the Mage Rebellion! To protect innocent mages, not madmen drunk on blood magic. But you'd ignore that, because you can't imagine a world without the Wardens, even if that's what we need! Agreed. The Wardens may once have served a greater good, but they are far too dangerous now. The blood sings softly, it never stops, and then it's all they hear. We can't let them hurt more people. The Wardens are a risk. Send them away before they cause even more trouble. The Wardens carry out a vital duty, but they also go too far. They need to be controlled. Inquisitor. The Nightmare has found us. 
together. I'm with you. Divine is the key to escaping from the Fade. 